Welcome once again to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today we're out at a special place of Eric's that he has asked that I, I don't reveal where it is, so I'm gonna respect that. I'm not gonna give you any coordinates, any coordinates today, but it's a place with tons of agate. Look at all that agate <laughs> everywhere. Lots of red stuff. And there's also supposed to be some petrified wood around here. This is very similar to the, it's the same unit that you get all this cool stuff at Yellow Cat, so basically the same thing. Anyway, we're gonna take a look and see what we can find. This hill is just covered. Look at that nice red right there. It's just chunks of it everywhere. So we're trying to find the nice looking chunks. <laughs> yeah, it could be here a bit. Well, there's a nice big piece right there. Oh, take a look at that. So we got some red, yellow in it, some black. <laughs> Wow, that one's crazy. That's really cool. This is a nice looking piece. Look at the red and yellow swirls in that and the black. Oh, that one's cool. I like that one. I think I'll take that one. Just right next to that, I filled this one out. Look at that yellow and red in there. Really cool patterns. Some swirls. That'll be nice. Oh yeah. Get that home and wash that off. Here's this one washed off. This was quite a nice one. Look at that. I think, in my personal opinion, the best stuff to try and find out there is where you get the colors running into where it turns mostly colorless. And if you can get enough where the light goes through enough, well, you might have some really neat things going on right here in this boundary. Where maybe if you kind of ground it down or cut it, you might be able to expose some really cool, maybe almost looking like seascapes, like coral in an ocean or something. Look at this broken piece. It's all fractured, but isn't that cool? The colors and everything going on in there. <laughs> Neat. Here's a nice piece of red. Good red patterns going through that. Yeah, I'll take that one. Look at that one. Look at the swirls in that one. That is cool. That is a nice piece. I'm guessing, just like a lot of agate areas, the best pieces are going to be small. Here's this one washed off. Really cool patterns and colors in this one. I really like this one. Such a neat piece. Another nice looking red one. Washed this one off and went ahead and cut it open, but it, it shattered into a lot of pieces, as things out here will do. There's the inside. Huh. Nice, but I think the outside might even look better with the darker red bands in it. Just pulled that out. That's cool looking. Got a lot of yellow in it. And I see something else that's really cool close by. Look at that. Right along the edge. Yep, so it looks like the very edge where it formed, you get the nice red and yellow kind of dendrites or whatever going up, and then you got clearish kind of in the middle. Here's this one washed off. This is a prime example of getting the colorless right next to the colors and see all the cool things going on between them. Looks like coral or just something cool going on in there. That looks like it's gonna be a good one. We'll take that home and wash that thing off. This kind of looks purple. Maybe a little bit, kind of a hint of purple. Ooh, what's this right there? Oh, dropped it, <laughs> whoops. So we got here some more red. That'll probably look pretty nice. I'll take that. Hmm, got one hiding here that might be good. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I think that's gonna be great. Mm, yeah, we'll take that home, wash that off, maybe even cut it. Here's this one washed off. Some more good bands right there. But what's really cool about this one is that it's a very interesting cross pattern right there. And it's just, I think it's just on the surface. Very interesting, but I don't know for sure. Look at that. Let's put that up to the light. I think that's really going to be good. <laughs> Look at that. 
that one. I like that band on the bottom. That's really neat. And of course, just another good solid chunk. Here's this one all washed off and cut open. And there it is on the inside. Hmm. Can't tell a whole lot in there. I mean, there's some stuff going on. A little difficult to really see. Ooh, this looks like a really neat shard. Nice and big and really cool looking. Yeah, I think I'll take that one. Right yeah, look at that one. Let's see how that looks. Can get it out. Yeah, it's got some neat yellow along the top again. Look at that one. Look at that one. That's beautiful. That'll look wonderful washed off. Look at this big one I just picked up. Yeah. That's probably going to be pretty nice once I wash that off. Probably not quite as nice as that other one, but still, that's cool. There's a nice little one. Look at that one. That'll be good. So here I am in a wash. I thought you might like to see just how ridiculous this place is. Look at all of that stuff. So much good high quality agate. Man, this is this would be heaven for a tumbler. <laughs> I mean, I don't really tumble stuff. I mean, just that's huge. Not particularly pretty, but just huge. And just tons. Oh, that's a good looking piece right at the app. Taking that one. <laughs> just all over. Oh, that's another good looking piece. I'll take that one. That's a big piece, but I don't know if it's very good. <laughs> wow. Just all over. All over. Here's this one washed off. Got some nice transition going all the way through that. Colors, banding. A lot of cool stuff happening there. Another good looking piece. I need to put the other lens on, but you should be able to see that. Here's this one washed off. Every surface seems to have a different thing going on. <laughs> Look at that. Just every other piece you pick up is an awesome piece. It's just so good everywhere. that so good here's this one washed off good strong red band on the outside there and some other cool things going on very nice here's this one washed off some of that red could be so cool with those bands and layers Another beautiful piece. Here's this one washed off. The bands on the bottom are really nice. Really cool. Found this one. Nice piece. It's cool. It had like a little circle right in the middle. Kind of a dot. Cool. Here's this one washed off. It had kind of this almost purplish color in a few places. And then kind of that little white spot there. So the center of this isn't great, but it was kind of that nodule shape, and I thought, mm, maybe we'll take and cut it, just to see. That's a nice piece. Look at that. Very nice. Just found that one. Look at that. That's a nice one. It's got some good bands in that. And he's got a nice one here, too. Look at that. <laughs> so many good pieces. Oh, yeah. Here's this one washed off. This stuff is so beautiful. Look at those colors and those bands. Where Jasper meets Agate. Love it. Yeah, got a pair of decent looking pieces that were sitting next to each other. Cool. Here's this one washed off. Nice strong red bands in that one. 
definitely the pieces that stand out are where you, where you get the red and yellow meeting up with the colorless. In this case, it's not very clear, but when it's nice and fairly clear, then it's really cool. Here's this one washed off. I loved this side. That right there could be a volcano. There we go. <laughs> Looks kind of like a volcano. I don't know. It's really cool, though, either way. I think we're kind of hitting this seam. I think it kind of works its way like this because I'm getting these big chunks. And look at that piece right there. That looks good. Oh, yeah. That's a nice piece. Is this a good one, too? It's got a lot of clear in the middle. Not sure if it's good. Oh, I'll take it. How about that? It's got some good red there, and then it immediately turns to black. <laughs> Here's this one washed off. I really liked that one. Good strong red through the middle, and you got this white colorless on the edges. Just got another really nice piece. Look at that one. <laughs> nice. And the other's right next to it. Let's see. Yeah, maybe. Oh, that's a chunk. It's kind of nice. Like this. It's kind of nice. Here's this one washed off. It seems to be mostly a jasper, but definitely has some agate. Really cool. Really cool. Here's this one cut open and washed off. And it looks like it does on the outside, except better. Getting that fresh surface, nice. I like this. I like that contrast all the way from top to bottom. Cool. Here's this little agate cut open. Oh, it's got a little bit going on in there. It's kind of hard to tell. It's a little dark. That looks like it might be a nice big one. Closer look. Okay, we got a little bit of good right there, and then that's not that great. It's mostly just that. Found that. Not too bad looking. Some other good ones here, but this looks maybe promising. Oh. I'm going to need the hand for that. Here's this one washed off. Some good red color in this one. A vein, not the greatest. Oh, that's that looks like a nice piece. This one's pretty nice looking. Yeah, I'll take that one. Here's this one washed off. I really liked the red and yellow, and I went ahead and cut it as well. Unfortunately, it did break on this side, a few pieces came off, but here it is cut open, and that's pretty neat. It's just nice to have that red and yellow contrast. So just down here's the agate, and I just got past the agate and I don't see any, and all of a sudden, boom, petrified wood. There you go, petrified wood pieces. I mean, not super great yet, but maybe, maybe there's something in here that's nice. I don't know, look. This one's kind of an interesting looking piece of wood. I like that one. That's kind of a cool little piece of the wood. Right, getting a few bigger pieces now. There's a bigger one. Still not great wood, but at least it's everywhere. <laughs> Is that a bigger one right there? Ah, there we go. A bigger piece yeah so most of the wood isn't that great but some of it is still kind of nice i like some of these we'll keep some of the pieces the better looking ones hey look at that piece of wood we got some better solicification going on here okay maybe we got more of that just found this look at that piece of jasper agate with that black it's striking 
Here's this one washed off. It is quite different from the other stuff that we found down lower. So higher in the unit, you can get some weird things like this. This red speckled through the black. Really cool. Just got a piece of wood with a hint of red trying to go on there. Maybe. Just found this piece, a little bigger. Nice. Yeah, getting some bigger, better looking pieces. Just walking along, picking up more. Piece of petrified wood like that. Yeah, a lot of that around. But just down there, I picked up this stream pebble that is an agate. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Who knows where that really came from originally? Look, the biggest piece of petrified wood we've seen so far. Look at that thing. Oh, and it even has some agatization going on inside of it. Oh, wow. Okay, that's something to take back. Yeah. That's some nice. crystals on it, too. Probably a little piece of the wood that fell off of it. Yeah, but look at that chunk. So we got, we got some potential here. And here's this big chunk all washed off. So I got some quartz there. And that's just a big chunk of wood. Not the prettiest wood, but definitely not the worst wood I've seen. Just found this piece of wood. It's got a quartz pocket that was on it. Nice. That's a decent piece. I think I'll take that. Got into a spot where the wood looks a little different. That's a cool little piece. I think I'll keep that. Oh, well, hello, bigger pieces. Oh, look at that and that. Okay, a few bigger pieces again. Look at that, that's kind of a pretty piece. I like that one. Let's see this. Oh, I think that's a little bit more of a limb cast. Huh. Interesting. Still getting lots of petrified wood pieces all over. Just found this piece. A little bit better solidified. Still not the greatest, but I like it. Oh. That's an okay piece. Yeah, see, I found this little shard. It's a nice agatized piece of wood. Not the best colors, but something. Uh, that looks a little better. Oh yeah, that's a better piece. Just found that piece. That's a nice one. Just found this one. It's a better looking piece of wood. So far as got more going on in it just found that better piece not too shabby and I think I see something over here right there not too bad probably won't keep that one yeah, look at that one got some patterns going on in that one we are now at the top and we've made it to the source the source is pretty much on the top there's a log poking out right here and then you can see there, there's another log. Looking at right there. These things are so fractured. Another one right here. Another one looking out over here. Right there. Look over that edge. There is just wood. It looks you like just... mulch. Yeah. Look at all that wood. Just covering the ground and then on it goes that way that's a good size yeah it is huh. so there should be technically wood then all over the top top of this thing going that way oh that's a log right there yeah it is yep that's where all that's coming from yeah. that log right there if we could just find where it's more solidified so you can get a nice, pretty, large piece. Oh, here's another log. Right there. 
There's a big piece that came off of it. Oh, look how green that soil is. What's going on there? Yeah. Usually that indicates volcanic ash. So that, that always catches my eye because that guy that's There's the some wood cast guy said it all comes out of green soil with red and green pea gravel. Oh that's a better piece. Yeah. See is. that's a better looking stuff. Huh. So Yeah. That's a lot of it there too. Tell me. Eric just found this. Look at that. It looks like literally the bark just ripped off. You know, it's kind of the under part of the bark ripped off. That is so cool. But it's petrified. Made it back to the vehicle. What a day. Got a whole bunch of nice agates in there. Bunch of petrified wood in my pack behind me. And we've had enough of hiking for now. <laughs> yeah, this has been a great spot. Thanks. This is, this is a neat spot. This is some great agate. And the wood's fun too. So until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.